Well, here we are down from Ibsley Bridge, February 15th, salmon fishing, using my two-handed salmon rod. I've just tied last night uh, my version of a woolly gun fly with some extra weight. It's a copper tube, two inches. Um, it's got the flies weighted with some extra silver coil to get down. There's such fast flowing through here. And um, it's a tube fly. So what you do is you thread that onto your maxima. You then take your tube, thread that through as well. That goes in like that. Then you attach the tube onto your fly and then you tie your, let's have a look, there should be a little tube on there. So get behind the fly itself, move it out of the way. And then you just push that in to position, hopefully that will go on. And then we've got quite a big barrel here. <coughs> I've seriously weighted it because what we've got here is we've got um, an awful lot of, um, that's lovely, we've got an awful lot of um, movement on the water so to get down we need to put more weight and I'm using a size 5 partridge double virtually barbless hooks I'm going to attach that onto the line, tie that on the idea is that when you catch a fish if the fly comes off the tube and the hook stays in obviously you can play the fish in without any hindrance and the flyer can move up the line and it can uh, make the fight and make the capture a little bit easier but I'm just going to do a, a double blood knot we call that a uni knot slides down and then slide that back up nice and tight I'm only fishing about 2 feet of maxima and I'm fishing 35 feet of heavy lead core and the idea is the leg core will get down low. The fly should go down low because it's quite heavy and sinking. And um, we'll work the gravel beds down below here. Salmon lie up just before the weir and then they rest up in these areas here. And when they're ready to run, they run at night or in the evenings. But the idea is I've tied the flies quite long so I can disguise the hook. So what you see there, you've got the black silhouetted, silhouetted line on the top of the thing and you've got the orange and yellow and silver with the red at the top there so that's what we're looking at i know it looks a bit crude but believe you me that will work a treat and get down low it's a specially tied green acre special orange and black willy gun we'll give that one a go right let's see how she works and how she gets out there well, the, the banks are still flooded and um, it makes for interesting fishing because not straightforward at all. Quite a few snags still around and just need to clear that. So that looks good. And then uh, check that through and work the fly around. See how she sits in the water. Let's have a look at her. Oh, she's got a lot of weight. That'll get down quite heavy. She looks quite good as well. Oh, yes, that does look good. So let's make sure the line slips off so let's have a look oh she looks good it's very visible big target how she's going to cast i don't know yet there's a lot of weight there an awful lot of weight so i am uh, pushing the boundaries here just to work this carefully there she is once the water gets onto her she looks pretty good doesn't she quite pleased with that quite a big big fly two inch jobby all right That's lovely. I think she'll get down. Yeah. So it's not the easiest um, conditions to fish in, but everything feels right. Now with salmon fishing, well, I've just checked the um, temperature. The water temperature is about five degrees lower than the air temperature, and that um, is a good thing. It's well worth checking that. And uh, more salmon are caught with a five degree differential on temperature. Um, don't know why it's whether it's because the salmon are more um, willing to come up on the fly but um, that is a fact so it's well worth checking your temperature gauges before you come out. It's got a nice bit of warm air coming through our way from the south but the water is still icy cold from all the snow and the rain we've had over the last few days so those combined factors 
give me optimism today with my own I've lost a lot of my own uh, willy gum flies and I've just made up some more so that does look very good I have to say if I was a salmon I'd want to take that it looks very good in the water highly visible getting down low which is what we want we want to be about a foot or two above the gravel bars and I think this fly will get us down so let's work it nice and slowly we don't want that fly working too fast. We want to give the salmon a chance to move off its lie and hit that fly with aggression. Let's get that swing round and then just retrieve. So it's like a, it's a bit like nymphing. It's like slow draw and retrieve, slow draw and retrieve. And then just up we come. And then out we go again. And she's casting with all that weight. I'm quite pleased. She's getting some casting distance on her. Just let her sink down again. I'm not touching bottom, so there must be about a nine foot hole here. With this great big heavy fly, it's amazing. Now we go again. Just a little bit, a foot or two every cast, until you're out to where you want to be. And then we'll step one foot at a time down the swim. Let that sink down. Slow retrieve, slow retrieve. That's lovely. Slow retrieve. And out we go. So, trying to roll cast. Yep, she's going out on the roll cast, which is lovely. It's not the most graceful of flies, but uh, like I say, it's very heavy weighted. So she has to get down in these deep swims, down from the Ibsley Whirlpool. Visibility looks quite good, which is excellent. I've got orange uh, buck hair on the fly which should be highly visible in these conditions so they're not going to miss it if it comes through it's just a question of making sure that we get down to the fish make it as easy as possible for them to hit it just going to move around now and work the fly just starting to work it does feel good it does feel very very good so that's lovely and we'll just work these areas so not really casting that far, but just enough to mend the line, let it curl round, let it work round. Starting to feel a little bit of weed, so we're getting down lower, which is good. Just retrieve, retrieve. There we go. Out she goes. Now let's try an overhead. Now, the overhead's not bad either. I can get out on the overhead. So I've got two choices, roll casting and overhead casting. I do prefer an overhead casting when there's no trees behind me. But the roll cast will work as well. Just work these channels now. The flow looks like it's eased up a little bit. Visibility's up. Everything's looking much better for a fish today. I'm optimistic. Love to catch one of my little flies, my big flies. It'll be superb, absolutely superb. Out we go again, far bank, out we go. Just mend the line, let the current move the fly around naturally, and then just follow it. The fly is getting down low. And I've got to be careful because there's lots of snags in this swim. I lost three flies the other day. In fact, I've hit, yeah, I've hit a weed bed. You can see the fly is definitely getting down really is getting down pretty good out we go and just work it let it swing round naturally and then work the fly it's okay i've seen uh, kevin styles work this swim and what he does he does a retrieve and a drawback lets the fly flip that down draw it back up again see if the fish will be enticed by the movement of the fly just moving up and down into its swim. Just like that. Oh, we've hit the bottom, that's good. So, how's that fly looking? Yeah. Looking lovely. Very pleased. Out we go again. The only problem we have is we can't get the strimmer out here at the moment because it's still in flood conditions. We'll just move our way down the swim. I can feel the weight and I can feel the flies moving slowly through the current. And that's what I wanted, getting down low and slow. 
what you want for winter conditions. But the spring is in the air. I don't think it'll be long before we get some lovely spring weather through our way. It's good to be out on this Friday. Let's just come out. Let's get out in the far distance. And out we go. Let that work round. Mend the line. Let it work round. And that's lovely. Here we are. Uh, we're just down up Swan Island on uh, the Blanchford. Just fishing for salmon. I had a salmon here a couple of years ago, just in that pool right there, on the fly. And I fancy having another go with one of my Willy Gun home tie jobbies. As we get out, it's quite fast through here. So it's chucking it down. It was in flood conditions. The flood's just starting to back off. I've had to just chest wade over that lot. And believe me, it's a workout just to get here. So let's hope I can get rewarded with a lovely salmon. That's what I'd love to do. Let's just have a, a wee cast. Make sure she's getting down low, which I think she is. It's a lovely pool, this. It does fish nicely. And you just have to aim for the back end of the island. Swing it round. The fish I had came in and took it about there and uh, lovely henfish of about 15 pounds just a couple of years ago I think I had that in April that fish so we're in February at the moment uh, could be a salmon laying up here just before it runs this fast bit of water I think we'll give it a go and I've got a 35 foot of leg core heavy, heavy leg core, braided leg core, they use for carp fishing, just to get down because the, the height of the river is about nine feet in places and just to get the fly down where the fish are, it's going to take some doing. So I'm just going to work this fly out and just let it work its way around and just work down the pool. It's a lovely, lovely pool this. So I've had one fish here in five years and uh, I think it is a holding position for salmon. Uh, let's just see how we get on. You can see there was an island in the middle of the river, but the water must have just been so ferocious it's blown the whole island onto the far bank. It's just absolutely unbelievably incredible. It's just amazing. So you can just see how much water's pumped through here because that second island was developing at the back has now been pushed to the far bank. It's incredible. Incredible power must have been running through here. Uh, the fly is not wasting any time, it's running through quite nicely. I'm just going to work my way down, get out there, about there, just let the fly work round and I'll step down as we go. You can feel the power of the flow. There's a double flow because you've got flow on the other side of the island and it joins up on the V and it really does power through there. But there's some nice little gravel spots and nice holes worth fishing. work the V. So when you see a nice bit of water like that, it's two currents. But we're in. Fish on. I've got a fish on here. I'm not sure what it is, but something hit that. It could be a salmon. I don't think it is. Oh, just when I was talking, caught on vid. A good fish. Still on. When truly hooked up, I'm not sure. Looks like a salmon. Is it a salmon? Is it a trout? It's a good fighting fish, whatever it is. Going down. Into the current. Oh, I think it's a trout. Whoa, that's a big one as well. Took the fly. This is a kelt. Look at that for a fish. Fish on. Just check to make sure the camera's running. Just about to talk about working the, the V. We've got a fish on. First fish of the season on the fly. This looks like it could be a sea trout. Just down here fighting incredibly well. What a fight this is, it could be a sea trout. I'm just playing him in, he's playing a great fight up on my home tied woolly gun. He's gone into the main current. I'm gonna follow him. Oh! 
wants to go, wants to strip mine. I'm going to try and play him in the pool here. With a bit of slack water just tucked in here, that'll be the place to play him in. I think I've got a good hook holding on him, but he's a good fish. Here he comes. He's coming through. Alright, let's get the landing net ready. He's going back into that main float. Well and truly hooked him. Oh, what a fish, what a take. Aggression. Aggressive take. It's fighting quite well. Looks like it's a sea trout. I believe it is a sea trout. Right. Let's get the net on him. He's gone into the main flow again. Right. Just landing. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Right, let's see if we can get him on the bank. In tight now, he's gone tight in. He's tight in on the edge there. I'm trying to ease him out. Where has he gone? He's out there, alright. Oh, there he comes. He's there. Oh, I can see him. Just fighting in the main flow. It's a good fish. I'm playing here now. Just tucked under the weed bed there. I should have kept an eye on him. Not doing this very well. Let's get the net ready. Let's see if we can land him. Mm, there he comes. Where's he gone? There he is. Where's he? Where's he gone? Just tucked under that weed. You can see him on the back. There he is. He looks like a kelp. Is this a sea trout kelp? I believe it's a sea trout kelp. Amazing. There he is. Up he comes. I think it is a sea trout kelp. He's in. He's ours. Right, let's have a look at him. Oh, what a beautiful fish. It looks like a sea trout kelp. I'm very pleased with this. Right, and you've got a little seat to sit down. Keep him nice and fresh in the water. And get the hook out. I'm going to treat him very, very carefully. All right, let's have a look at him. Where are you? Oh yes, that's a sea trout kelp. First one of the season. And out comes the hooks. Out he come. Out he come. Hooks are out. That's a double. Hooked it beautifully. Right in the corner. Out you come. The hooks are out. Now, just have a look at them. It's a well mended sea trout kelt. Let's have a look at him. Let's get the video on him. Let's have a look at it. There we go. So, oh, it's a good fish. There's the sea trout kelt, beautifully mended fish, probably a fish of about three pounds when it was fully loaded, down to about two now. I think we'll return the fish. Very pleased with that. Oh no, it's up a good little fight. My goodness me, that was surprising. That was a surprise. Did not expect that. Uh, just keep him in the main flow. Recovering. <coughs> and then make sure he gets his strength back before we return him. Put him over here. Just a little back eddy here. Put him in there. Let's get his strength back. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, he's strong. He's ready to go. We'll just release him carefully now. Let's keep him in the water, in the main flow. There we go, there he is. Not 
It's a beautiful fish. Let me just return that there. There we go. Let's see if we get this guy back. Off he goes. What a beautiful fish. Absolutely brilliant. Very, very pleased. Aggressive take. Took the home tide fly. Uh, pleased with that. Very, very pleased. Because that could have been a salmon. Uh, let's keep trying. First fish of the season.